Monterey Car Week is a gathering of the absolute ultimate of cars in the world, the ultimate in performance, the ultimate in luxury, and the ultimate in value. Despite the 2021 New York Auto Show being canceled, Car Week in Monterey went ahead as normal. We caught up with Monterey local and vice president of Google, Ben Sloss, and asked him why it was important that the Car Week went ahead despite the worsening pandemic. I was absolutely delighted, right? I mean, we, we were all a bit gutted when it was canceled last year, but it made sense. And to have it actually come back and run this year and, and set up where it's all outdoors and so it's relatively safe, but to get that taste of normalcy and to be able to reconnect with people was, was wonderful. Now there is also an event called the Legends of the Autobahn as part of Car Week and BMW have used this to show off the latest in additions to their fleet, including this, the B8 Alpina. Alpina, the cousin to BMW, the B8 goes over 200 miles an hour. It's the ultimate Autobahn cruiser. This vehicle is absolutely refined, but still an amazing performer. And joining it on the lawn is the M5 CS. This is the absolute pinnacle of performance from the uh, motorsports team at BMW. It breaks records. There is nothing better than this when it comes to the M5. You can put the whole family in this and break some records at the Nürburgring. Starting price? around $142,000. Aston Martin used Pebble Beach to roll out this, the Valkyrie Spider. Now they're well known for being an on-road, on track, and part of the James Bond series of cars. But this is an F1 style car that you can take the top off. The bad news about this vehicle is there's only gonna be 85 of them and they're already sold out. Acura used the Quail as the opportunity to unveil their brand new version of the NSX. This is the NSX Type S and they have loaded it with 600 horsepower. So past, present and future, this is the Skysphere and Audi's vision of what a car may look like in the future. But the press of a button, the car actually changes shape and goes from autonomy to being able to drive it yourself. The vehicle actually gets a steering wheel that comes out from underneath the dash. Now, as part of the Pebble Beach races that happen at Laguna Seca, BMW unveiled a brand new race car. This has taken about a year to develop. Underneath it's a four series, but on top, it's their latest race car. We got to talk to Bill Orbelin, the GOAT, who may be driving this in the upcoming races. Behind me is the brand new M4 GT3, and it is hugely awaited for. Like I've been just clawing to get myself into that seat. It's a three liter twin turbo. Uh, it's been tested now for almost two years in Europe. All my counterparts, my race car guys in Europe, all say it's the best race car drive they have ever driven in the GT class. Uh, we're gonna drive it. We're, we're for sure ready to go for Daytona 24 hours next year. We might sneak it out before then, but uh, I'm ready to go. If you get caught short without somewhere to eat your charcuterie, Rolls-Royce have a hidden hosting set that they're showing off at the back of their Cullinan at the Quail. They're also serving champagne to the guests. And this stuff is actually more expensive than my aftershave. I'm Nick Miles.